All right, Jeremy, let's get right into it here. This is this has been a little bit of a strange offseason, the inability to talk to players and to game plan along those lines. So so what have you done this offseason and how has that changed the way you're going into this season? Yeah, I mean, it's it's drastically changed, right? Especially the last two months, um, not being able to talk to the guys and not having a, a super good feel for, you know, where they're at and um, what kind of routines are on, you know, some of the guys post on social media. And so you can kind of, you can kind of see what they're doing. Um, but you can't actually like interact or make adjustments or any of those types of things. So that, that's been tough. So what I've tried to do is try to use my time, um, to invest in our player development people. Um, you know, we hired a new pitching coordinator, um, you know, just thinking through, um, our philosophies from top to bottom and really tried to nail those down, investing in our and our minor league coaches and our affiliate coaches, and then um, interacting with our performance staff and research and development staffs and just trying to figure out, you know, what's on the horizon. Um, you know, what, what do we need to do to be best in class and, um, and win a World Series? We can't talk about specific players, but we do know the two guys at the top of your rotation are two of the best who have ever stepped on a big league mound. So how far will that go, just those two spots in your rotation, when it comes to determining the fortune of your club in 22. Yeah. I mean, you, you just, you look at world series uh, championships over the last maybe ever, I don't know. I haven't looked back that far, but they're usually anchored by two or three um, really good pitchers. And then having several good pitchers in the, in the bullpen to, to navigate the playoffs. Um, you know, that's a recipe for what we're trying to do here. And um, having those two individuals there is, um, Exciting. So you've got a new manager in Buck Showalter. What have your discussions been like with Buck this offseason? And are you guys aligned in the way you think about pitching and pitchers and the way you use pitchers? Yeah, me and Buck are for baseball guys, right? Like we're, um, we really enjoy the game. We enjoy the nuance of the game. We enjoy the details of the game. Um, we love players. We love watching baseball. Um, I have a ton to, to learn from Buck and um, I'm anxious to get going. And those conversations have already started and um, but it's different when you're in person with somebody and you, you get to look them in the eyes and, um, and then ultimately in the heat of battle and get to look at somebody in the eyes and, and how they react to certain situations. Like, um, you know, I, I couldn't be more excited about Buck and um, looking forward to, to learning a ton from him. A lot has been made, you know, when they hired Buck, you know, is he an old school manager with new school thoughts? Um, so when it comes to analytics, Jeremy, you get all of this information. And then how do you decide what to take to an individual pitcher? Is it more of a blanket approach by you? Uh, how, do you how do you decipher what you get and then what you give to pitchers to try and help them? Yeah, this is the key, right? This is, this is everything. And it's been the thing forever in our game and in the sport or competitive or classroom or whatever like I think understanding who the student is or who the player is or you know it's a there's a parenting component in this too like who your child is um uh, and then being able to deliver a message to try to get an outcome or try to help teach a lesson or or whatever um I think that's the most important piece of my job is is building that relationship and understanding you know, where a guy is at, um, you know, where he's been, sure, and where he's going, yes, but most importantly is where he's at right now. And the information, whether it be from our R&D people or from our performance people or something uh, experiential from another member of our staff, um, being able to, to relate to the, to the individual and being able to deliver that message, that's, that's my job. Um, that's how we're going to get to to best outcomes from from our guys. You hit a home run in a Mets uniform, and it certainly looks like the days of pitchers hitting in the National League is going to end. How do you feel about that? Mm, I don't know. The, so the fan, and I'm a National League guy, so yeah. I I grew up, you know, watching the Cardinals. Um, you know, I was probably more of a Rangers fan, but I grew up watching the Cardinals. I'm in Cardinals country; is where my home is. Um, obviously, I, I got drafted by San Diego, um, played for the Mets in the big leagues, and then finished my career with St. Louis. And so I've only known National League, except for my time in Minnesota coaching. Um, I've only known the National League. 
So to take the picture picture away is um, it's certainly going to change things, but um, that's from the fans' perspective and a former player's perspective. In my position now, I uh, I love it because I don't have my guys going up to the plate to face some guy throwing 105 miles an hour and them trying to hit a home run and pulling something or doing something they shouldn't be doing. And, and then the bunting, right? Like putting the fingers close to the ball, like there's just a lot of risk in it. Um, so from my position where I am now, um, it's, it's a good thing for me. But from a fan, a fan's perspective, I can see the other side, the other argument. Jeremy, great to visit with you. Uh, we'll see you down in Florida, hopefully in the not so so distant future, and have a terrific 2022. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate you having me.